the aesthetic look of a product poster is what makes a small brand look big. Twenty from Caesar Graphics, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create this orange drink poster. If you need the exercise file for this tutorial, simply make use of the link in the description section of this video. So without any further ado, let's dive into today's tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop the splash document now and um, we're going to be doing everything here. So I'm going to um, create a new layer. Alright, so I hold on Alt and click on the new layer icon and I'm going to type blue, BG. Alright, then I'm going to select the OK button and I'm going to click on the color picker foreground color and i'm going to paste this color code which is 3385cd and i'm going to set the ok button so i'll apply the foreground color with the shortcut which is or backspace and one cool thing about this is no matter the color of the background it will still you know work with the splash effect so I'm going to create a new layer again and call this light blue. Alright, then I'm going to go to the color picker again and I'm going to copy my second color and I'm going to just paste that here which is 4499DC. And I'm going to select the OK button then I'll select the brush tool this time, increase the size of my brush and I'll go to my brush settings. So if you can't find your brush settings tab simply go to windows and um, click on the brush settings option here so make sure you're on the soft round brush and i'm going to let's go this big and i'll click once and i'll use the free transform to just scale this to my preferred size all right and i'm going to drag and drop the image of the bottle like so and I'm going to rotate it this way and I'll move this up here like so now make sure you place the bottle above the uh, layer with place bottle layer here all right so now I don't need this again I'm just going to delete this okay and I'm going to just position this somewhere around here like so it should be okay all right i'm going to select the pen tool and i'm going to crop this out like so so if you need tutorial on how to use the pen tool you can use the link in the description section of this video so i'm going to hit the enter key to convert the part to a marquee and i'm going to hold on alt and click on the layer mask icon to cut out that um, part from the bottle now i'm going to drag and drop the oranges so i'll position that here and just scale that down all right and i'm going to rotate this a bit and this should be somewhere around here like so and I'm going to drag and drop the leaves here. I'll scale that down and I'll rotate this. Make it go down a bit. It should be here. Make a copy. This should be here. Right click and make it 180 degree and make this here. I'll make a copy again. Position this here. And position this way. This is here. Then I'll make a new copy again, and this should be behind the bottles. The bottle, excuse me, and the orange. So I'm going to put this here. Put this here. I'll rotate this 180 and just position this here, like so. All right. Then I'm going to make a copy of the bottle again. Select the bottle behind the very first bottle and I'm going to right click and select rasterize and I'll 
hold down ctrl shift and u to convert this to black and white so i'm going to hide this layer so you guys can see what i'm doing and i'm going to sell i'm going to go to the blend mode now and change this to multiply then i'll make this visible i'll zoom in all right and i'll select the brush tool because we need to make this uh we need to take this out and i'm going to use the brush to reduce the size of my brush and i'm going to make sure that my transfer option is checked and the reason i'm using my transfer option checked is because i'm using a graphics tablet so if you don't have a graphics tablet simply turn down your flow or opacity to something around 15 or 8 and you're still going to achieve the same move so then i'm going to make sure that i'm on the uh, layer mask of the cop bottle copy layer and i'll switch this to black because the uh, layer mask of my bottle is white so and black always delete all right now white makes the layer visible so i'm going to just gently apply this here like so all right now the reason why you're turning down your flow is so as to be able to control the strength of your brush all right so i'm going to scale this down and i'm going to switch back to white because i mistakenly apply it to this side of the button like so all right now this is looking real okay now uh, the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of the bottle and i'll create a new layer with alt and click on the new layer icon and i'm going to call this shadow okay and i'll select the polygonal lasso to hold down alt and just cut this out all right now i hold down alt don't forget to hold down alt when you're doing this all right so the reason why you're holding on alt is to subtract the marquee all right so i'm going to click on the foreground color picker now make this darker like so and i'll hold on alt and fill this with alt backspace and i'm going to hit ctrl d on my keyboard to deselect the marquee and I'll move this to the side like so all right and i'll go to filter blur and select gaussian blur okay then i'm gonna make this a little bit higher like so and i'll hit the ok button and reduce the opacity then i'll zoom in all right so i'm going to take out so i'm going to add the layer mask first yeah and i'll select the brush too and i'm going to take i'm going to make this appear here by you know deleting this side now you see my brush is not working because my foreground is set to white so i'm going to switch to black and I'm just going to apply the brush again. So, so I'll make this a little bigger. And just do the same move again. So if I zoom out now, you see this is looking more like the shadow of the bottle. So I'm going to take out this side again by selecting the polygonal lasso tool and just take this out so so apply that to the layer mask of the shadow by holding on alt and backspace and then we have this so i want to reduce the light effects on this side of um, the bottle so what i'm going to do again is i'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of the bottle and i'll create a new layer i'm going to call this i'll click on the foreground color picker and i'm going to select this um, shader color and I'm going to move this down and hit the OK button and hold on alt and hit backspace so I apply the color to the layer and now I'm going to make a copy of this and all right I'm going to use my keyboard a left arrow key to move this three times one two three and I'm going to use the up key on my keyboard to move it two times one two um, then I'm going to hold on control and click on the thumbnail of the color bottle layer and i'm going to hide this and i'm going to select the very first bottle layer and hit the backspace all right then i'm going to hit ctrl d on my keyboard to deselect this hit the eraser tool, increase the size of my brush and just gently take this out from here like so i'm going to take it out from here take it out from here just take it out from here like so and I'll go to filter blur and select gaussian blur and my gaussian blur radius is going to be one uh i'm gonna no let's just make it 0 
0 0.9 all right and we set the ok button and this is looking the way i want it so what i'm going to do again now is to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of um the bottle layer again and cl click on the hold down and click on the new layer icon and call this shadow again or maybe let's just give it shadow one and i'm going to select the brush too and i'll zoom in the size of that purpose i already wanted to look as if um, we don't have much light coming from this side of uh, the bottle so i'm just going to apply this here so i'm going to move this above this and just apply this like so This here, so, yeah, like so, and I'm going to make this a little bit darker, okay? And I'm gonna just apply that here, like so. Let's apply that here, Let's do the same thing here, here like so. All right, then I'm gonna hit Ctrl D on my keyboard. To, de to deselect the marquee and I'm going to put all of these in a group it's always good to put your layers in a group all right doing this is going to make your layer panel net so I'm going to call this button and for the leaf I'll put that in a group and call these leaves so next is to add noise so i'm going to create a new layer and call this noise and i'm going to change my blend mode to soft light and check the fill with soft light neutral color 50 percent gray option and i'm going to select the ok button and i'll go to filter noise and select add noise and i'm going to select i'm going to reduce the uh, amount to 11.55 and select the ok button and i really want the the, um, I want my noise to be thick, so I'm going to hit the free transform uh, shortcut and I'm going to make this a li little bit bigger, like so. And I'm going to go to the adjustment tab here and select curve because I want attention to be on the subject. So I'm going to push down the shadow, like so. All right, and I'm going to hit the control I on my keyboard. To reverse the um, the mask, and I'm going to select the elliptical marquee tool and draw a huge marquee shape here, like so. All right, I'm going to apply the foreground color to the layer mask of the curve by holding on Alt and Backspace, and I'm going to hit the Control D on my keyboard to deselect this, and I'm going to hit Control I again to reverse the mask, and I'll go to feathers. And I'm going to crank the feather up it's very I'm going to make it this uh, much and uh, yeah, yeah this is good and I can even go to the cover adjustment and just you know reduce the strength of the cover a bit so I'm going to add the text now I'll click here and type 100 percent So I'm going to select everything and hit the centralizer um, button here and I'll change the color to white. Select the pick tool and bring out the free transform. Let's get this big. I'll right click and select skill. Just move this this way. I'll bring out the free transform again and just push this down. This should be here. Like so okay and uh, um well let's just put it here all right i think putting this here is nice so i can just do here and i think um this is beautiful all right so i'm going to stop right here yay i'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial if you are able to achieve any project with the help of this tutorial or you repeat this tutorial Please post it on your Instagram page and remember to tag me. My Instagram handle is at Caesar Graphics. And if you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when I post my videos. Share, like, and comment on this tutorial. 
tell me what you think about this tutorial i'll see you again in the next one peace